So right now, I'm here in Paris and I'm going to share with you my experience with the new P30 Pro for the last couple of days. So just to be clear, the P30 Pro that I've been trying is actually all pre-production unit. So whatever that I'm saying now may not be the conclusion of the final product that is going to launch later in April. So the most significant uh, thing on the P30 Pro is actually the new super zoom lens which is actually a periscope lens and hence that's why the third camera on the P30 Pro is actually a square lens instead of a circle, circular lens which we are very used to. So what's so amazing about this super zoom lens is basically the ability to able to zoom five times optically and the image quality is just pretty amazing. It's just so sharp and so crisp. I mean, no doubt, most of these shots, it's best to take during a bright daylight or maybe even like early sunset. But it's still amazing to actually to have a 5x optical zoom on a smartphone itself. To make things even better, the P30 Pro also comes with the 10x hybrid zoom, which is also just as amazing. Because previously uh, on the Mate 20 Pro, it's only a 5x hybrid zoom. But now they have bumped it up two times and it becomes 10 times and the result is just as good and if I were to show you the picture and to ask you to tell me whether is it a hybrid zoom or a optical zoom it's really hard to tell and to differentiate actually the 10 times hybrid zoom is actually more than enough but then Huawei also gives you like another like 50 times digital zoom okay that one is a little bit underwhelming at this stage I don't know whether is it because it's pre-production unit but it's still fun to play with it lah it's not as sharp and clear like what the 10 times optical zoom is pretty much blur but you can still decipher what are the things that's happening and it's quite amazing that you can see this shot of the Eiffel Tower that I can actually see people <laughs> like at the viewing gallery it's it's just quite quite cool in that sense but but it's quite fun to actually to look at it or maybe they will actually improve it when they launch it in April on top of the super zoom there's also the 40 megapixel super spectrum sensor makes this super spectrum sensor so amazing it's basically in low light i was able to capture an even sharper shot when i was doing a side by side comparison with the mate 20 pro there's actually a leap of improvement compared to the mate 20 pro and the reason this is possible is because that instead of the traditional rgb sensor what we actually swap the green with yellow so now it's ryyb I still not sure how this actually helps in getting more light and getting a more sharper picture when in low light condition but it does its job that's all we need to know right and that's quite cool and in actual fact the p30 pro is actually a quad quad camera system and from back of it you may not be able to actually tell because it looks like as if there's only three lens but in actual fact there's also another lens which is called a time of flight camera which is a small one that is right at the bottom of the three camera so this is actually a quad camera system by Leica and the time of flight camera its main purpose is basically to be able to collect more depth data when taking a portrait shot so in actual fact it will actually create a more natural kind of bouquet shots that you want in your portrait mode and I think it did quite a good job now the front facing selfie camera is actually instead of two lens now it's only one lens on the p30 pro and it was said to be better basically now i take a shot of my selfie during daytime i can see my pores and all that it's not so called beautified but then again when i tried it during at a low ambient light uh, testing it still seems to have that blurry effect i mean most of the smartphone cameras will have that issue so other than its camera's feature, uh, Huawei also adding quite a few more new things to the hardware of the P30 Pro. So there's no longer a speaker on the top of the P30 Pro. Now they're actually using an acoustic display which would actually vibrate and to produce the sound that you need. And also the new P30 series of smartphones will also come with in-screen fingerprint scanner just like the Mate 20 Pro. And the most amazing thing is actually the new Aurora color that I like on the P30 Pro so the Aurora color it actually mimics the curvy lights of the Aurora I mean when you start looking at it then after that you get mesmerized and then you just keep looking looking and tilting the screen it's just so amazing it's so beautiful I really love this color a lot and just like the Mate 20 Pro the P30 series of smartphones will also have the Nano SD card which is proprietary by Huawei for the expansion slot so anyway this is a quick review or a first look of the new p30 pro 
Leave us a comment if you have any questions about the P30 Pro or the P30. And if you like our video, remember to share and like it. And your support is very important to us. See ya!